Hello and welcome to Quality Professional Consulting Group YouTube channel. My name is Ben Tomic and in this short video we're going to talk about the retention control of records in ISO 9001-2015 quality management system. Okay, so uh, ISO 9001-2015 standard requires that organization must control the records and as an evidence of the effectiveness of its processes. The organization must address the following distribution, access and retrieval and use, storage and preservation, control of changes and retention and disposition. We already talked about the control of uh, changes in our previous video, how we're going to control the revision of different documents in quality management system, how we're going to distribute them, access and uh, make them available to the uh, appropriate people in the organization. However, in this uh, short video, we're going to talk uh, how we're going to deal with the records. Uh, so uh, we have to address uh, 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 the best way uh, to uh, uh, keep our records. So what would be the best way to address this particular requirement? Uh, document information retention uh, matrix table or form would be the best way to address uh, the uh, uh, record uh, information uh, related to the standard requirement. So, uh, uh, in this particular case, uh, 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 documented information retention um, table form or matrix should look something like this. So, we have to first identify the record that we want to uh, maintain. Then, uh, according to standard, we have to identify the storage of the record, uh, what would be the protection of the record, uh, retrieval, uh, retention time and disposal. So each of these categories are uh, referenced in ISO 9001-2015 standard. Therefore, uh, we are obligated to, when we identify certain record uh, that we want to uh, uh, retain it for a certain period of time uh, and identify it as uh, in this particular uh, document, uh, then we need to uh, identify uh, all these uh, aspects of uh, documented information retention process. And let's look one uh, example. So how documented information retention uh, uh, matrix form and table should look like. And uh, uh, let's look at uh, the uh, one example here. So we may decide to keep uh, our quotations um, on our uh, storage would be on our cloud. For example, this is just example could be also the uh, the uh, uh, folder cabinet. Uh, if we are not modernized, if it could be hard drive. Uh, protection could be the cloud protection, but also could be backup of our uh, system. Uh, the retrieval could be by the process owner, so the process owner is possible for the retrieval of these uh, records. Uh, we have to specify the retention time, uh, could be uh, 10 years, could be uh, one year, depends how we are going to specify it here. Usually it's the, uh, the lifetime of the product that we manufacture, so if it's uh, uh, the product uh, expected to last for 10 years, then we should keep records for 10 years. Uh, if the product uh, lasts for a year or so, then there is no reason to keep the records more than uh, that. And the disposal is the way how we're going to eliminate the records in this particular case. Uh, since we're using the cloud storage, we're going to just simply delete it from the, uh, from the cloud. So uh, different records that we could identify here could be the quotations from our customers, our work orders that we execute on our, uh, during our operations, uh, customer purchase orders, inspection reports, uh, non-conformance reports, corrective actions, approved supply list, uh, approved supplier list, uh, supplier evaluation, purchase orders that we place to our vendors, our suppliers, uh, internal audit records, uh, third party audit records like a register um, audit records or customer uh, audit records, um, management uh, uh, reviews, uh, quality objectives, 
uh, um, actions to take uh, to address uh, risk and opportunities, uh, training records, competence records of our personnel, uh, employee evaluation records, uh, calibration records of our measuring and monitoring equipment, uh, preventive maintenance records uh, in order to maintain our machines and equipment, machinery, uh, tools, um, uh, customer satisfaction records, the formal customer satisfaction surveys or other evidence of customer satisfaction, uh, customer external documents like customer specification, customer drawings and other documents that help us to uh, manufacture our product as per requirements. But this, this is the, the list is not uh, uh, complete, we can add more, we can uh, remove some of this, it's up to the organization to decide uh, which records organization wants to keep uh, to retain, uh, but when we decide which document, which uh, records we want to uh, retain, then we have to specify all these categories like uh, storage, protection, retrieval, retention time, and the way how we're gonna dispose this particular record. So this will be everything for this uh, short video. If you want to stay informed about this particular uh, matter, please do not forget to subscribe to our channels because more videos are about to come. Uh, thank you for watching this one.